like all other businesses, the hospitality sector has been experiencing tough times over the last few years. Many restaurants have closed. Some are struggling to survive. Others are thriving, such as those of Michelin star chefs like Ross Lewis in Chapter One and uh, Derry Clark in Le Crivain. They join me now. And uh, gentlemen, you are participating, both of you, in Taste of Dublin 2012. So, Ross, maybe you tell us what is Taste of Dublin 2012? Well, Taste of Dublin is uh, basically... Uh, a festival, its origins were about uh, restaurants from the Dublin scene coming together and I think this year there's 16 or 17. Uh, it combines that with chef demonstrations. I know Derry Clark here is doing barbecues, there's music and there's a general festival atmosphere and this year's theme is on local and uh, local and s- small artisan produce so it's about supporting Irish produce and Irish business. So it's a, a great, fun, festival-like uh, atmosphere, and I think that people... It's firmly established in the event calendar, and people really, really enjoy it. Derry, you're doing barbecuing. Clearly, you are an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard uh, the forecast tomorrow is thunderstorm, but I, who, the forecast for the last few weeks, let's be honest about it, Miles, has been wrong. Um, yeah, I'm doing a barbecue over the weekend with Kevin Dundon and myself. Um, looking forward to that. But definitely, as Ross said, it's a great uh, occasion, actually, the uh, four days. Where um, does it all happen? The Ivy uh, Gardens behind Stevens Green, which, I mean, most Dubliners... Mm, don't know very don't much correct. about and are absolutely beautiful. It's the most gorgeous place, actually, in Dublin. And uh, 30,000 people will be there over the weekend, and it's a great occasion. It just shows, actually, the interest in food and the sourcing of food, yeah, ingredients, the cooking of food, um, the interest, and wines, of course, wine tastings and yeah. beer tastings, etc.